we steamers. It's Sheila Kay here, and I'm so happy you've joined me today. Come in close, because we have a special poem to recite together today. Can you guess what this poem's about? Here's a clue. It's about a tall, furry animal with big ears, short front legs, big hind legs, big feet, a strong tail, and hops to get around. Have you guessed? Right! This poem is about kangaroos. It's called Little Joey. Listen, here's how it goes. Bouncy baby kangaroo, mama loves the things you do. Say it with me this time, okay? Here we go. Bouncy baby kangaroo, mama loves the things you do. Thank you for saying that with me. So, we just recited a poem about kangaroos. And you know, I was wondering, what do you already know about kangaroos? Right, they do hop and jump to get around. And they have pockets in their tummies. Well, you're right about both those things. Kangaroos do hop to get around. Their big hind legs help them jump and hop pretty far distances too. Sometimes kangaroos can jump 30 feet. That would be like if you were in your classroom and you jumped from one side of your classroom all the way over to the other side in one hop. That's a pretty far distance. And I noticed you said kangaroos have pockets in their tummies. Well, you're right about that too. Mother kangaroos have pockets in their tummies. We call them a pouch. And that's where they hold their babies to keep them safe and warm and protected. And you know, we have a special name for baby kangaroos. They're called joeys. Does that word make you think of something? Joey can also mean a boy's name, right? But right now, we're going to use that word to talk about baby kangaroos. So now, I think you've learned a new word, right? And I have a surprise for you today. We have two visitors coming to see us today. Meet Camille and her baby Joey, Nellie. Hi, Camille. Hi, Nellie. I'm so happy you're here today to help us learn a little bit more about how you live. And you know, Camille, we were talking about mother kangaroos and how they take care of their babies and how they hold them in their pouch, just like you're holding Nellie right now. I was wondering, how's Nellie doing? Oh, that's terrific. Everyone, Camille said that Nellie is doing just fine. She's about two months old, but she's growing very fast. And you know, I know that when baby kangaroos are born, they are very tiny, smaller than this grape. So they're very, very tiny. Oh, right. Thank you, Camille. Everyone, Camille said that also when baby kangaroos are born, they don't have any fur and they can't see yet. But in a few months, they will be able to see, right? And I know that when they're a little bit older, when they're about four months or five months old, they will climb out of their pouch to start learning how to hop around and they stay very close to their mothers in case they get hungry and they want to jump back in or if they need to feel safe when they want to get back inside, right? Right, right. Yes, and baby kangaroos have a special way of eating. They drink their mother's milk from inside the pouch. So that's how baby kangaroos eat. Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you, Camille. Yes, and when they get a little bit older, when they're about nine months or 10 months, the babies will climb out of their pouch and they can hop around all by themselves. So when they're about nine or 10 months old, they start to eat different kinds of foods, like the foods that Camille eats, adult kangaroos. And they like to eat grass and flowers and bark from trees and sometimes insects too. So kangaroos can do so many special things, right? Oh, oh right, thank you, thank you, Camille. Camille also wanted me to let you know 
that when kangaroos or babies get a little bit older, like around nine or 10 months, they also learn how to run and run very fast. And guess what else? They learn how to swim. I never knew that about kangaroos. Kangaroos can do so many special things. Now, I had a question for my friends out there. I was wondering, can a kangaroo be a pet? What do you think? Okay, some of you think yes, a kangaroo can be a pet, and some of you said no, a kangaroo can't be a pet. Well, kangaroos are wild animals. They live out in grasslands and in forests where they need lots of room to be able to move around. So they can't really be pets. Oh, thank you, Camille. Everyone, Camille wanted me to remind you that kangaroos have always lived in grasslands and forests. That has always been their home. And the grasslands and the forests have everything they need to live happily. It gives them lots of room. It gives them all the food they need to eat, all the room they need to move around. And also, it gives them a chance to get shade from the trees where they can take a rest. Wow, Camille, you've taught us so much about how you live and how you um, keep yourself safe and grow happily. It was so nice to have you visit with us. I hope we'll see each other again another time soon. Thank you, Camille, and thank you, Nellie. Let me give you a hug before you go. Oh my goodness, it was so much fun to talk with Camille and Nellie. Wow, we learned so much about kangaroos today, we steamers, right? About mother kangaroos and baby kangaroos. We said a poem about kangaroos. We learned how mothers protect their babies. We learned about baby kangaroos and the special name they have, joeys, how they grow. We learned about how kangaroos move. We learned about where they live, what they like to eat. And we also learned that kangaroos can't really be pets because they need to live in grasslands and in forests. That's always been their home. And grasslands and forests have everything that kangaroos need to grow and be healthy and to live happily. Wow, it was so much fun spending time with you today, we steamers. We'll recite another poem or sing a song together again soon. But now it's time for our special way to say goodbye. I'll say it once and then you say it back to me, okay? Here we go. See you later, alligator. <whistles> Got a shoe, kangaroo. <whistles> bye bye, butterfly. <whistles> bye.